Welcome to the Greater Latrobe Senior High School and to this special art collection that brightens the halls here. It allows students to experience a unique vision of creativity as part of their daily lives. I'm Barbara Nichols from the Art Conservation Trust. That is the organization of school and community representatives that has the responsibility to oversee all the art collections of the school district. In addition, the trust raises funds for conservation of collections and for projects and programs related to enhancing the creative development of all students. Come with me as we walk the halls of the high school. See for yourself what living daily with art can be like and what can result from that experience. This is called a unique vision of art, and it is truly that. This collection of over 200 pieces for more than a half century was one of a kind. Since 1936, works from some of the finest Western Pennsylvania artists have been chosen by vote of the entire student body and for the most part, paid for by them. The ongoing endeavor is made possible by a special partnership with the Art Conservation Trust, the Greater Latrobe Community, and the school district. Just as unique as the art collection is this story of how it all began. You will meet two strong-minded and slightly eccentric teachers, an involved group of students, and a community that supported the vision. 1936, the country was deep in the Great Depression. Latrobe High School art teacher Mary Martha Himmler was concerned that her students did not have access to original art. She was a very determined woman and also a member of the Associated Artists of Pittsburgh. She convinced a number of her fellow artists to lend their works from the annual show at the Carnegie, and she brought them back to the high school. Here, she conducted a special assembly for the student body where she talked about the borrowed paintings. Then there was James R. Beatty, social studies teacher, student council advisor, and another Pittsburgh associated artist. He decided that students should purchase works to remain at the school and that the students themselves should vote to determine which piece should be purchased. His student council raised the money to buy two works and thus began this special collection. The student council still follows that tradition of student choice and student purchase and so we now have this great collection of art. Not only does it reflect the finest of Western Pennsylvania art from the past eight decades, but it also tells us much about the students who each year chose the editions. Our tour continues with the paintings purchased that first year. Blossom Time by Martha Morgan, a charming, sentimental work with a blooming apple tree, sweet little children watching students at recess at the schoolhouse in the distance. For teenagers living through the Great Depression, this may have expressed their vision of what life should be. Purchased in that same year was Deserted Farm by Clarence McWilliams. This WPA-styled painting may more realistically portray the landscape that many students knew. And then we have another landscape, Black Cherry by Patrick Ruan, chosen and purchased in 2008. Stylistically, it's very different from those early works 
but it still expresses student appreciation of the natural world. You have seen the first two works added to the collection and also one of the more recent. But what happened in all those years in between? What did it mean for the thousands of students who daily walked to classes along these halls lined with original art? Over the years, the collection has become a fundamental tool in the Greater Latrobe curriculum. Creative teachers use the art pieces in many ways to stimulate student thinking. Art teachers, of course, demonstrating style and technique. Language arts teachers with writing assignments. Social studies teachers pointing out art as a visual symbol of history. The collection and its uses has inspired new programs and new visions. Students at all grade levels now share the opportunity to live with original art. Elementary students have voted for artworks for nearly two decades. The new junior high school renovation created an outstanding space for their art collection. Those first two teachers back in 1936 would be proud to see what has resulted from their efforts. The most innovative new vision and one of the greatest was another unique concept, the Center for Student Creativity. Please come to visit that facility now and meet the director, Jessica Golden. Welcome to the Center for Student Creativity. Greater Latrobe Senior High School is home to a unique facility that promotes the creative arts for all students and the Greater Latrobe community. The mission of the Center for Student Creativity is to help create a community of learners who, through the integration of the arts into all aspects of curricular and extracurricular activities, will grow in knowledge and skills, who will realize more fully their potentials, both academically and socially, and who will develop a lifelong desire to learn and create. The center itself encompasses a 4,500 square foot facility that accommodates 200 people. The center's state-of-the-art amenities include a movable stage, LCD projector, and 20 by 20 foot screen, video conferencing capabilities, stage lighting, hardwood flooring, ballet bar, mirrored wall, light controlled window coverings, and sound system. There is an adjoining courtyard and outdoor amphitheater that seats 80 people. The courtyard provides space for outdoor art exhibits and is used daily by students. The Center for Student Creativity's dynamic and hands-on programs include, but are not limited to, theatrical and music performances, artist and residencies, art exhibits, interdepartmental projects, and social gatherings for students and community groups. The center interconnects all academic disciplines under the umbrella of creativity to enhance learning and promote the arts in all forms. The Center for Student Creativity and all of its programs are a fantastic outgrowth of the art collection and the work of the GLSD Art Conservation Trust. Wonderful programs, wonderful stories, all made possible because those two teachers long ago saw the importance of art in student life. Art that belongs to everyone. Art that is as varied as the students who chose it. Come with me to the lobby of the auditorium where a few works hang to show the diversity of the entire collection. On the left is an abstract painting, Point Lobos No. 1, by the highly respected Pittsburgh artist Samuel Rosenberg. Rosenberg was recognized nationally for his work and is esteemed as the teacher of a number of prominent artists. On your right is a surrealistic painting, Here and Elsewhere, by Norwood McGilvery. This work 
purchased in 1944, contains a number of symbols to illustrate his idea that although the world was erupting in war, hope for the future existed and the earth was safe in the hand of a greater power. And directly ahead of you is Mimi by Otmar von Fuhrer, the painting that graces the cover of a unique vision of art, the catalog of the collection. This lovely young woman and her story is always a highlight of art tours. Mimi's story and hundreds of others are all part of the vision. This painting and 200 more are the result of the tradition of student involvement, student choice, and student ownership. The student ownership that begins in kindergarten continues forever, years after students have graduated. Many groups come to the high school for a tour of the collection, but the most treasured are returning reunion classes who consider a tour to be a special part of their celebration. Some of these groups celebrating a 10th, a 25th, or even a 50th reunion are eager to see again those works that they chose and to discover the new ones. They also share the excitement of the Center for Student Creativity and the cutting edge technology that is evident throughout the school. Over and over they tell us, I want to come back to school here. All of this occurs under the mission of the Art Conservation Trust. From the beginning, the art collection and related activities have not been taxpayer programs. Through the work of the students and the generosity of community donors and foundations, the work of the Art Conservation Trust continues. One of the most exciting events is the annual Art Gala, held at the high school when the works under consideration are on display. This elegant affair draws more than 500 people, many of them graduates of the school, to see the works, to hear student docents discuss them, and to meet the artists. Funds raised from the gala are used for ongoing conservation of the collections and for trust projects. The mission statement of the trust is simple, but it encompasses a past and a future. The GLSD Art Conservation Trust shall oversee and preserve the art collections of the school district and shall promote the development of creativity for every student through active involvement in the arts. Through the work of the Art Conservation Trust, and the continuing support of all those who share its mission, we can ensure that the students of tomorrow will share the legacy of this unique vision of art. We invite you to share the vision. <laughs>